why am I doing this? Is to always get the inspiration by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the ways that the people of the past they get the inspiration by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is through Suhbatul Arifin bi Ahlillah. Uh, is knowing, is getting to be around the people that know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because when you see someone, you see a friend that is reminding you of Allah, that is a blessing. Okay. That's number one, the way towards that. Look towards people that remind you of Allah. Who in your community reminds you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Is it your friend? Is it your, the person praying next to you? Is it your son, your daughter? Who is reminding you of Allah? Is it the uncle? Is it the auntie? Think about that. Number one, who is reminding you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Number two, if not, if not the people around you, then it has to come from within yourself. The change has to come from within yourself. You have to recognize that this, I'm not living forever. I'm going back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I need to change myself towards a life living to Allah. As we know, in right? And what changes? What changes? When you become rich, you truly become poor. Or in other words, your poorness makes you rich. That you are poor in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that makes you rich. When you do tawadu, when you put your head to the ground, it lifts you. The ascent. So don't feel ashamed of doing that. The words that you say, it becomes silent. The words that you you say become silent. Khushna, that the deliciousness of your food it becomes bitter because you know what this world is about you know what the end is and the way you are hungry and the way you are full is just a sense of hunger that you're never full knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there so the way we understand who Allah is, it changes the way how we view the world. <clears throat> right? Because we know at the end of all of this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The, the, your words, I'm saying as well, it says, it becomes a silence. And so you being in this world, it's just a moment. You being in America, you being in Indonesia, it's just a moment. Right? So these states, how we feel anger, how we feel sadness, how we feel happy, how we feel sad, these are all just temporary. The way you're feeling is all temporary. Right? Because sometimes we think that it's going to be forever. The sadness of the Prophet said of how long was it? It was a year. It sounds very long, but it's not forever as well. Right? They come and go. <clears throat> Allah is there forever. That's what we have to remember. Uh, and that's what Ibn Atayla is always trying to remind us that on our path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is the Adwarid al ilahi. There is the spark that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give you. The moment that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was given, after the sadness that he experienced the whole year, losing his uncle, losing his wife. How do you bear that, right? You bear that with right? With hardness comes ease. He was given the Isra and Mi'raj, which we'll be experiencing inshallah. Uh, I think tonight is the 27th, will be the night of Isra and Mi'raj. We recognize that the Prophet was given the gift of experiencing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the gift of Salah, right? So we hold on to that, and that is the moment that we go towards seeking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that the Prophet sallam, he arrived to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he was received by Allah. Now for us, the gift of salah given through that is every moment that we pray is a moment of arrival to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to arrive to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm-hmm.
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that every moment in our lives when we are in the very low grounds of our amul huzn, of our year of sadness, of our year of sadness, that we know that there is a Isra al Miraj. That Isra al Miraj for us is the connection that we have with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the salah, that is our dhikr, that is the dua that we have, that is given through us as a gift, as an ulay ulay by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. We ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala to always allow us to be connected with Allah in all of our situations. Ya Rabbi Alamin, 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 Ya Rabbi